Hey Vikes, today we're going to find out if Seaman High School is actually haunted. And seniors share their favorite high school memories. I'm Ryan. And I'm Kara. You're watching SVTV. Leadership students are selling its Be Nice Time t-shirts. Pay the bank $9 to bring your receipt to Amanda Small or Alex Kufal. The first choir concert of the season is tomorrow at 7 p.m. in the Seaman High School Auditorium. Spirit Club is extending the sale of this year's spirit gear to the 17th. If you've applied to work at the Viking Brew, see Mrs. Averill. The International Thespian Society is hosting a canned food drive during seminar. Donations will be accepted through October 31st. The seminar that gathers the most donations will receive a pizza party and free tickets to the fall play. All donations will be given to the Topeka Rescue Mission. The college fair is tomorrow at 1.30. See a counselor for any questions. The Topeka Zoo is looking for volunteers. Look at Schoology for more info. The deadline to register for the ACT prep class is the 18th. Fill out a form and return it to Mrs. Olson by then. Senior women t-shirts are for sale. Orders are due by October 19th. Now we will go see where golf is having their tournament tomorrow after this quick commercial break. Hey guys, it's me, a Viking. Spirit Club is selling blue and red Viking Pride shirts for $13. You can get an order form from Mrs. Geis in room N14 or in the office. All forms are due October 10th to the bank. There will be no late orders. Remember, Vikes, we don't stop when we are tired. We stop when we win. Man, I really wish I could be cheerleading right now. Man, this is so much fun. Powder Pup will be an event held October 13th from 4 to 7, where girls play flag football while boys cheer them on. Donations will go to help with patients with cancer. Boys Soccer is hosting a Cancer Awareness Night at tomorrow's game. The first 50 students with a student ID will get a free t-shirt. Good luck to our Lady Vikes golf team as I head to the Hayden Invitational tomorrow at 3 p.m. We talked to some seniors about what their favorite memories are from their high school career. Let's go check it out. What's your favorite high school memory? When I returned a 55-yard uh, fumble recovery for a touchdown against Hayden. I'd say my freshman year when a guy on the team, one of the seniors, decided that uh, he'd really like to just make Weens, Coach Weens mad that day. And uh, during our pre-practice uh, conversation, he threw out a nice little <laughs> and uh, Weens completely blew up on him and uh, nearly kicked him out of practice and he never did it again. It was a good time. Uh, my favorite high school memory was my sophomore year. The band went to K-State and Andrew Brewer did not wear marching shoes, he wore plain black socks, and that was it. <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah, I even remember that. It's insane. <laughs> so what's your favorite high school memory? Uh, my favorite high school memory during the soccer season is when we won Centennial League my sophomore year. But something that was really funny happened was when Trey Burkett last year missed the school uh, bus to go to a, a soccer game at the beginning of the season, and we had to go back and pick him up. Oh my gosh, it's crazy. <laughs> so what's your favorite memory? Um, my favorite memory from volleyball is when we beat Lansing at their own home tournament in the semifinals, and then we went on to win the whole tournament. What's your favorite funny memory? <sighs> so every year before Substate, we have a scavenger hunt, and Morgan Chapin was on my team, and uh, the goal was to take a picture with a dead rodent <laughs> along the road. And so we found a dead rodent and we all got out of my car and Morgan was leaning down next to this dead rodent and a car started coming. And so we all started running back to my car. Morgan slipped and fell in the dead rodent and we didn't have any water. So she had to wipe it off with an old Coke I had in my car and we thought she had rabies. We will miss all of our seniors next year. Now, let's head over to weatherman Ryan to see how Hurricane Michael is doing. Hey 
Hey Vox, how's it going? Let's jump right into the weather. We escaped the rain today, but it is cloudy throughout with only highs in the 50s. If we take a look at our three-day forecast, you can see on Thursday, the sun peaks through the clouds and we get sun, but only in the 50s, so it stays relatively the same. But on Friday, you're going to want to dust off your jackets because it's going to be a cold one at the game on Friday. Now, for all of you who are going to Wellness Night tonight, it starts at 6.30 and it'll be 52 degrees. Won't drop too much by the end, but you're going to want to bring a jacket. Now, if you take a look at Hurricane Michael, you can see it comes from Havana Unana all the way up to Tampa, possibly New Orleans, but we're looking at mainly Jacksonville over here in the northwest region of Florida. Now, let's go over what a Category 4 hurricane is. You're going to be experiencing catastrophic damage to homes, trees, possible power outages, and the regions may be uninhabitable. But Josh will cover that more tomorrow. Now, back to your anchors. Hey, Ryan, have you ever thought the school was haunted before? Actually, yes, I have. One day, I had four no-bake cookies in my lunch, went to go eat them, gone. Explain that. I might have a logical explanation for that, but let's just see if the school's really haunted. Hey guys, I don't know if I was hearing things. There's like whispering, and there was no one there. I believe the school's haunted. Seaman High was built 98 years ago. Most of the school has been renovated, but some parts have been there since the beginning, meaning the classroom right now could be almost 100 years old. A lot of things could have happened in those 100 years. A popular belief is that after you die, your spirit can attach to a place or an object. And what does the school have? Some students and teachers have had some strange experiences in their classrooms. For example, six or seven years ago, Mr. Gregoire heard something in his classroom. Now he doesn't even get close to the corner in his room. We asked him some questions about this. It was uh, about six or seven years ago. Uh, it was an in-service day. There was no one in here. Everyone had gone out for lunch, and I decided to hang back and grade some papers and eat a couple sandwiches, and all of a sudden, I had my back turned towards that corner. I'm sitting over in this area, or probably at this desk, one in this area, and I was facing away from the corner where that phone is, and I heard a distant, hey. But it sounded a lot more sinister than that. I didn't know what it was. I figured someone might have been watching TV or if it was someone down the hall. Didn't think much of it at first until the second time I heard it, about a minute later, and it was a silent, hey. I thought maybe it's a bad sandwich or something like that. I didn't sleep enough. I was making all the excuses in my mind because I don't really give into hocus pocus crazy things too much. Kind of shook it off. And then the third time I heard it, it was a longer and drawn out. It was a hey. I about jumped out of my seat and looked around. And I thought someone's playing a joke on me. And I checked behind this corner. I walked around to see there was there was nothing there. No one there, nothing here, the lights were off, and to this day I have no explanation. I don't know if it was a, a bad sandwich or <laughs> could have been a bad lunch or I sleep deprived. Uh, I don't know, I'm still a little skeptical. In the early 2000s, Mr. Upperson was on a night shift with a few other janitors. As they were turning off everything and getting ready to leave, they say they saw a figure of a woman. He also heard and saw heavy doors slam shut. Here's the story. We were all here closed up one night. This is back when I was on night shift, when I first started here. And we had closed the north end up. Everything was off, everything. And we were all up here, and we seen a woman looking through the glass windows down there. I mean, everything was shut off. Lights were off, we could see the lady, blonde hair. But we went down there, nobody was here. And I have another one. We were all outside here. We had the doors all locked up. We were standing outside getting ready to go home. And these, you know the wooden doors downstairs? They just replaced the metal ones. Now these were shut, these are heavy. They were shut and we heard them open and slam. 
There's nobody here. There's been just some really weird things happen here in this school. Do I think Siemens haunted? My personal opinion? Yeah, there's something here. In the time we spent editing this series, new information has come up. We'll share more in the next episode. Been here, you know, late at night or weekends, and you hear noises. And I don't think like anything strange or unusual has happened to me, but we're gonna go see. All right, so you don't think Steven is haunted? <laughs> well, Ryan, what do you think? Is the school really haunted? I don't know. All I know is I didn't get cookies. They were there one minute, gone the next. Um, okay then. <laughs> Make sure to come out to Washburn tonight and support our band when we play at City. And don't forget to come to Wellness Night tonight from 6.38. Have a great rest of your day.